Hello everyone, Mark Pooler here from the Southington Cheshire Community YMCA's. Welcome to our second annual Camp Q barbecue and brew celebration. We're here today from the Cheshire Community YMCA and I'm here with the branch executive director, Chrissy Cassessi. Hi, first we would like to thank you, our supporters, for attending our YMCA Camp Q this year. In addition, we would like to thank our sponsors, the Bartlett Legal Group, Ion Bank, Gaylord Physical Therapy, Daniels Orthodontics, Bailey and Hirschman, Smoking with Chris, Counterweight Brewing Company, Cheshire Craft Brewing. In addition, we had some great support from our community for our raffle prizes, including our top raffle prize from Pediatric Associates of Cheshire. 2020 has been a unique and challenging year for our YMCA and our entire community, but we have not stopped focusing on our YMCA mission, and that's here to support and impact our community the best that we can during these challenging times. Let's take a glimpse at some of the impact we've seen over the height of the pandemic in the last few months. If you've been to RY over the last several months, you've noticed many changes. This includes increased cleaning protocols, health checks for our staff and members, and more space between our equipment. All of these changes are meant to help keep our members and our staff safe. Here's a short video about how RY helped one of our members during the height of the pandemic. Hi, my name is Megan Nolan. I am the mom of Nolan Canny. Uh, he currently is a first grader in Norton School. I am the assistant patient service manager of labor and delivery, maternal special care at Yale New Haven Hospital. Um, I uh, actually contracted COVID at the end of March. I was diagnosed on March 31st. Um, at the time prior to um, contracting COVID, I was trying to job share with my girlfriend um, as she is a nurse at the hospital as well um, because my parents are 68 and 70 and I didn't want to jeopardize their health. Um, so I was taking her kids two days, she was taking my kid two days, her sister was um, helping out, me out as well. But once I found out that I um, had had a positive exposure, um, my friend is pregnant with her third child and has two young children of her own and she could not take the risk of watching him anymore. So I was at the point of um, debating whether 
what I was going to do with him if I was going to pack him up and send him to my parents and not see him to the COVID epidemic was over because as an essential worker, I had no choice but to work and not the option to work from home. Um, I started to realize that I was having some symptoms that I was probably ignoring and I should not have been. Um, so I proceeded to, before making the decision to send him to my parents because I was running out of child care options, I tested positive. Um, so my son and I were in quarantine for um, three and a half weeks, just the two of us, um, as I recovered. And one of my biggest stresses why I was being sick was who was going to care for him when I returned to work. Um, that was really the first week and a half was the hardest uh, being home. Um, because I no longer had my parents, I didn't have my friends. It was very isolating, um, and it Why was hard. With me? And so um, I was trying to call daycares, and then um, I had come across the email from the Y stating that they were trying to um, that they had this emergency daycare. I initially reached out to Christy, um, and um, she initially wasn't sure she was going to have an opening, but she said to call her back in a week. Um, I called Christy back and. Um, she thankfully had um, an opening at the Southington uh, Emergency Child Care for my son, which I'll probably cry right now, was um, the biggest relief that I had. And um, she truly made my day and I was so blessed for it um, because that was the first time when I heard that I had somewhere to send him so that I could go back to work and do my job. Um, was the first time I think my anxiety level came down in almost a very long time um, and I was very thankful for that and so um, you know I just find that the why you know was open to the children of healthcare workers which were the riskiest people to be around and um, you know here were these daycare teachers who were now homeschooling my child who was in kindergarten and taking on roles that they didn't sign up for and I think that's what happened to a lot of us essential workers is we've all had to step out of our comfort zone and do things that we didn't sign up to do but we know it's our job and what we have to do. Um, Chrissy was great to work with. Everyone at the Southington um, YMCA was so welcoming and so supportive. Um, my son absolutely loved it there. Um, so we were there through the month of once I was out of quarantine and back to work. Um, we spent all of April May and part of June in Southington. Um, I work in New Haven, so it was quite a commute going from the South End of Cheshire to Southington to New Haven, but every day I was just so thankful for every person that worked there because without them, I couldn't do my job. Um, and then the emergency child care at Cheshire opened, and uh, we were there for about two weeks, um, and then um, my son went to Camp Kew all summer as well. Um, and now he is back in school and he has been in aftercare and this week we started before care as well um, because I don't have my parents again. So truly the YMCA has been my lifesaver this year and I truly don't know how I would have made it through 2020 without them to be perfectly honest. As Chrissy mentioned, we've gone through many challenges during this pandemic. Throughout that time, we've had to change and adapt to adjust to the needs of the community. We continue to do that daily, changing our programming, our membership, and every other adaptation that we can think of to make sure we're here to serve the Cheshire community. If you would like to learn more about Smoking with Chris or what Cheshire Craft Brewing or Counterweight Brewery are gonna to bring to Cheshire, check out those videos as well. Thank you for attending our virtual Camp Q this year. We really appreciate your support. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of your evening.